Okay, so in this video, we will give you a few examples of the power rule of differentiation. So what if we ask for the derivative with respect to x of x to the 6? Well, by the power rule, the derivative is 6 times x to the 6 minus 1, which is 5. So the derivative of x to the 6 is 6 times x to the 5. What if you ask for the derivative now of, say, the square root of x? Well, before you can differentiate, you have to rewrite the square root of x as an exponent of 1 half. x to the 1 half is the same as the square root of x, and now we can apply the power rule. So we bring down the exponent, 1 half, and we subtract 1 from the original exponent. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. If we wanted to have a positive exponent, we can then send x down to the denominator, and we have on the denominator 2 times x to the positive 1 half, and we can now recover the familiar square root. x to the 1 half is the same as root of x, and so we have that the derivative of root of x with respect to x is 1 over 2 root of x. Let's do two more examples to again show that sometimes before we have to apply the power rule, or we can apply the power rule, I should say, we have to first simplify. So what if we ask for the derivative of x cubed times x to the 5? Well, in this form, we cannot yet differentiate with the power rule, as the power rule only applies directly for a single power of x. And here we have two powers of x multiplied together. But, before we can differentiate, we can combine using property of exponents to a single power of x as x to the 3 plus 5, x to the 8. And now we have a single power of x, so by the power rule, the derivative is 8, x to the 8 minus 1, 7. And let's do one last example. If we have the derivative with respect to x, say, of the square root of x, over the cube root of x. Well, again, before we can differentiate, now this quotient of two roots, we have to simplify this to a single power of x. So first, let's replace each root by an exponent. The root of x is x to the power of 1 half, and the cube root of x is x to the power of 1 third. We still can't differentiate yet, but property of exponents, if you divide two powers of the same base, you can combine by subtracting the exponents. So this will be on top x to the 1 half minus 1 third, put everything over 6, this is 3 over 6 minus 2 over 6, therefore 1 over 6. And now we have recovered, or transformed, the original function to a single constant power of x, and we can now differentiate with the power rule. Bring down the exponent, and subtract 1 to the original exponent. 1 over 6 minus 1 is negative 5 over 6. And again, if you wanted to, in the end, have a positive exponent, simply send x down to the denominator, and it becomes x to the positive 5 over 6. And that's it. 